Hi guys, welcome to another lecture on Java enums. Let us continue with the same example. In this example, we have constants red, amber and green and we have associated durations 40 for red, 5 for amber and 60 for green. I would like to associate some text with these constants as well. Stop with red, slow with amber and go with green. Can you make changes in this enum class for this requirement? Also write the test code to test the changes. Pause over here and come back once you are ready. I hope you were able to solve the exercise. Let me solve it as well. Create a variable to store the text. A string message. Add one more constructor argument. String message. Assign the value this dot message equals message. Modify the constant declarations. Stop for red. Slow for amber. And go for green. And finally provide the getter method for message public string get message return message that's it save the file write a test class right click on package name new class in the name field type test traffic light 2 press enter Add a main method. Let us iterate through the constants. Traffic light 2 dot values method returns the array of traffic light 2. Traffic light 2 array type arr equals semicolon at the end type the for each loop for traffic light to obj colon arr sys out print the constant name obj dot to string plus double quotes colon plus its duration plus double quotes colon plus and the message save the file run the program and we get the messages as well now suppose various other projects are using this enum traffic light 2 now instead of these messages we would like to provide our own messages and we don't want to touch the enum class as various other clients or code might be using this file and may not need changed messages. So instead of using the messages coming from enum class, let us provide our own message. Let us write another method. Private static string get new message. We will return the message based on enum constant. So this method should accept enum reference variable. Traffic light to TL. Though we can use if else if else block here, but as we are working with constant values, hence switch case block is preferred. Switch. Switch expression in Java accepts enum reference type provide case blocks now case red note this important point here case label just accepts name of the constant and not the instance of enum and that is why enum name and dot operator is not allowed here traffic light 2 dot red and we get compilation error 
compiler is asking to use constant name read only. Undo the changes. For read, return is stop now. For amber, return slowdown. And for green, return go now. If no match, then return error. Instead of invoking get message method defined in the enum class, let us use this method. Let me copy this statement, paste it, comment the first one. Now instead of obj.getMessage method, invoke get new message method over here. And pass the traffic light to reference variable obj in this case. Save the file, run the program. And this time we got our own messages. In the very first example, when we had a method that accepted a string argument, we had no way to limit the method argument. As this method accepts a string, so we can either pass null these three constant values and any other string object as well. But over here, as method accepts enum type, Hence, you can either pass null or these three enum constants only. Not possible to pass any other value. This is one of the benefits of using enums for constants and not a static final string. In both the cases, whether method parameter is a string or enum, you should check for null. Otherwise, null pointer exception will be thrown. Let's filter out null arguments. If tl double equals null, return error save the file in traffic light one class as well if color double equals null then return zero save the file in all the examples we had seen till now enum was declared in its own file but in Java, it is possible to declare the enum inside the class. In this example, we have enum traffic light 3 defined within superclass. Main method is defined in superclass. There are two ways to access this enum within this class. First one is by using full name super dot traffic light 3. And as this enum is within the boundary of superclass, hence Shorthand name traffic light tree can also be used. Both the codes are correct. Run this program. We get correct details about red and amber. If this enum is accessed in some other classes, then it can be accessed by using full name only. Shorthand names are not allowed in this case. So everywhere you have to use the full name. Whether the enum is declared in its own file or defined within a class, case label always uses name of the constant. Run this program and we get correct output. With this we have come to an end. In next lecture I will cover some of the important methods of enum class. See you there.